think it's um, it's mixed feelings, yes. And when you are um, winning a game, uh, we know all oh, this is a very tough place to go. And when you then start so well, and the players executed the plan, I would say brilliantly. We scored two great goals, and then yeah, we switching off, and we don't keep so much possession um, as before. Um, defending, we switching off, we concede for a first goal, totally unnecessary, and then you know, then you light up the fire in this stadium, in this ambience, and then it's become real uh, tough. We address it in a half time, and then you concede uh, a third one, so unnecessary. Uh, it's no good defending again, and that has also to do with um, yeah, some, some willingness in such moment. But then I have to praise the guys, uh, how they return in the game, how they fight, how they find a way uh, to get the equalizer. And it's not only about uh, that we find them in the last minute, with uh, so in stoppage time, with the set play, but we also we had on four and some good chances. And when one, two, three players switching off, then it's a problem, and that is what we have to solve. And we just start the season, so we have time to to solve this is, this this issue. But it has to go quickly. We can't wait so long and. Uh, players has to take uh, their responsibility in such defending moments. Canaccio was my best player on Sunday, by far, and also in many other games. Um, I think in this season, and as, as I assess it so far, he's bringing us so far the offensive threat by creating chances, assist, um, also scoring. So yeah, Canaccio also, we have to play him as well. And we have two very good players over that side. I have to, to watch the, it back. And I think over the left side, definitely, we didn't defend well tonight. And Marcos also played a part in this. But as I say, it had to do uh, with Canaccio and nothing against Russia.